Okay, so what's one beauty product that you just cannot live without? Eye cream. I cannot live without eye cream, whether it's in the morning or the night. It always just kind of makes my eyes wake up a little bit or kind of refreshes them when I go to bed at night. Okay, me too. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good on you. I can tell you right? use it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what's one article of clothing yet? From whether it's sweatpants or a dress that you just feel so confident in? Oh, confident. Probably a wonderful cocktail dress. I think that that's, as far as confidence, just putting that on and being able to walk. I'm a ballet dancer, so people always comment on my posture, which I think is a good thing, but I feel most comfortable in sweatpants. Okay, okay, me too. Not when I can <laughs> yes. truthfully agree. Although I think you should try a cocktail dress. You might be able to pull it off pretty well. <laughs> that and the eye cream, perfect match. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, competition, all right? Did you ever research all the other ladies before coming here to Vegas? I didn't. I'm not one to size up my competition. I got to meet them in Orlando at Miss America's Outstanding Teen. Although I was so sick, I sounded like a man all week. So I got to know them a little bit, but that's why I'm so excited to be here this week in Vegas, because now I really get to know them and spend time with them. Awesome. And last question, what is your first memory of, of Miss America? Like, do you remember going back to five years old watching it? I. I remember growing up and watching it with my family, but I don't remember the specific Miss Americas that won. The main year that I was remember was Kirsten Hagland's year, Miss America 2008. Something portrayed me to watch the show, and when she won, I was just automatically drawn to her, and then now we're really close friends, and it's kind of a small world, but that's the one memory that really stands out is Miss America 2008. Awesome, and here you are, 2013. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, Layton. Every girl carries what she needs in her handbag, so I want to know what you need with you in this bag every day. Okay, this is definitely my bucket. So for the plane, I have hand sanitizer and my airborne. Good girl, you can't be getting sick this week. Can't be getting sick. Five hour energy for the week. You need that every day. And then I have my cell phone, of course. Um, makeup and hairspray, and then in my middle compartment. I have yet another bag that's full of artistry lip gloss. Ah. I have three, somewhere in here. I have three shades of artistry, and then more lipstick and my credit card and cash. Oh and that's my, my purse. Okay, did I see Vaseline in there? Was uh, that Vaseline? You, uh, no, you saw beeswax. Oh, but okay. I use Vaseline on my eyes every night since I was 14 years old, and that's why I say I have long eyelashes is because of Vaseline. I don't know if it works or not, but that's my little trick. So wait, do you put the Vaseline on your eyelashes or on all of your eyes? All of it. I use it like eye cream, and then I brush my eyelashes with it. And it helps make your lashes look long and pretty? That's what I claim. Women at home are going to start buying tubs of Vaseline. And it saves a lot of money. It saves a lot of money. Okay. Now, I hear that women put Vaseline on their teeth. Mm, I've never tried that. You've never tried that? No. To make you smile longer for a pageant? I, I always smile because I'm always happy, so I don't need Vaseline <laughs> on my teeth. <laughs> okay, so you'll stick with it on your eyes. Yeah. In the meantime, let's talk about your talent. Okay. You do ballet. Mm -hmm. What are you going to be doing on the big night of the competition? What's your song that you're dancing? I'm doing ballet on point to Malagueña. It's a saucy, spicy Spanish dance with a fan. Okay, can you show me one quick ballet move? Sure. Without ripping my jeans. Um, Something that I can do. Oh, okay. The passe. Oh, let me hold on to the balcony. <laughs> I don't want to fall over. <laughs> and then you can put your arm up. I'll put my arm up. Yeah, here. that's good. And down. What is this called? Passe. What else can we do? Um, can you go up? Yeah, that's and a développé. Yes. And then you can kick your leg really high, and it's called a grand mama. I can't kick it any Without, higher. <laughs> maybe you can put some sweatpants on. I know. That's <laughs> not happening. Can you give me just like 10 seconds of doing some kind of ballet real quick without me in it? Yeah, with my jeans. Yeah, just try to do something. <laughs> that was good. Good. That worked. Okay. Thanks.
Before they compete for the crown, see what this year's Miss America contestant said behind the scenes. All this week, the LiveWell Network catches each one revealing beauty tricks and personal secrets you won't see in the competition. We found some winners. Rebecca Spira hosts Miss America Secrets Reveal. All new every night beginning Monday, January 7th, only on the LiveWell Network. Check your local listings or click Choose Your City to find the LiveWell Network in your area.